There we go. So, in a show that deals with deaf actors and deaf actresses, what do you learn from that experience yourself, being, being in, the, in the thick of things? <laughs> I've learned that we have a lot of uh, natural prejudices with people with disabilities, and that the first thing you do is you try to compensate for their disabilities, and you try to talk louder, stuff like that, mm -hmm. which is really racist. You know, yeah. Way, you know? Yeah. It's misogynistic, but you don't realize it until you're doing it, and until you're. And then around. you're like, oh no. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So the awareness of being working with these incredible actors that are incredible actors on top of everything, you right. know. Right. <laughs> so they have a different ability, is what it is. Uh? So it's not a disability; it's a different ability. Yeah? That's cool. Um, learning from them, how can I cannot even imagine not hearing <laughs> and being able to function? I mean. Yeah. It's normal and perfectly well. Totally. Uh huh. Because we're, we're in touch with our senses so much that we think, oh, yeah. And then to even imagine that, that you can have a fulfilled life with a different ability is very inspiring. And I can only get inspired by Marley, by uh, Sean Birdie, by Katie Leclerc, who is my granddaughter in the show. I'm only inspired by them very much so. And I'm trying to learn as much as I can. Oh, that's Jack, cool too. That's he's awesome. He's my master. And, well, we're all I mean, so that's very it's cool. It's like learning a new language. Oh, without a know? doubt. Without you a doubt. You have to practice. And yeah, I do the practice when I have the episode. Mm -hmm. And then I practice and I practice and I practice. And then the episode is over. And you're like, ah. <laughs> and then I don't remember. Right. Because I'm not practicing every day. If I was on the set every day. Then it'd be like, boom, yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> like, like the girl who plays my daughter, like Constance Marie. That she's like, Bing, boom, bang, you know? It's amazing what she does. Now, a lot of people are probably asking you, what's next for your character? What's this? What's that? What would you not want to happen to your character on the show? What I would not want to happen in, my sh in the show is that they send me away. I would not want that. Don't okay. send me away. Right. Don't send grandma keep, to her sister. Keep me in the neighborhood. <laughs> keep me in the neighborhood. Keep me in the conflict. I think uh, one of the writers told me that they're thinking about a new storyline for me. That's cool. It's a scary risky, but cool. It is a scary, risky storyline. What she expressed. Hey, why not though? I like the idea. Yeah. Why not? You know. And uh, if they go ahead with it, it's something that would have never been done by a Latina actress of my age. Oh, that's and, uh, awesome. Uh huh. So that's let's awesome. see. If so embrace it. I will. It'll only will, be a good thing, know. right? Let's see if they go if they go ahead with what they told me. The well, idea. You know, I if you really want it, you can just kind of like right. nudge them a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to do that tonight. Perfect, perfect. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Continued success. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.